So today I want to speak about how to produce stem cells in the body. It's important that we have lots of stem cells if you want to regenerate your body, your organs, if you want to be young and to maintain uh, your health, you need to produce stem cells. Of course, uh, with time and with old age, you will produce less and less stem cells. That's why it's important that you take a step and uh, do something with your health, with your life, to produce more stem cells. Here are the steps that you need to take if you want to produce more stem cells in your body. First of all, you need to start intermittent fasting. Fasting is very important, but not a lot of people can do it. Intermittent fasting is much easier. Go for 16 hours, maybe 18 hours a day without eating a thing. You can drink water, take some electrolytes, some vitamin C, but that's it. Don't go something else. Zero calories. Zero calories, water and electrolytes, it's enough. This way, you will help your body to detox. You will help your body to produce stem cells. If you want to go for something much better, you'll need at least three days of fasting. Minimum 72 hours of fasting. From there, you'll produce much more stem cells than 16 or 18 hours, but it's not for everybody. What I suggest is training in fasting. So you need to start to train in 16 hours, 18 hours, 24 hours. So this means one day of fasting with water. And after a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, you will start to fast for three days. After you start to fast for three days, you can go up to five days and even seven days. Seven days with water for every three months or for every six months. This way you start to produce stem cells and your body will start to regenerate will start to grow younger again. Second of all, nutrition is very, very important. You need vegetables. Of course, you don't like vegetables. You like sweets or something else. But this is the problem. The problem is that we don't like what is good for us. We like what is bad for us. We can change that because if you eat, if you start to eat vegetables like cabbage or broccoli, or cauliflower, these kind of vegetables from those uh, from these families, you start to produce stem cells. These vegetables help with uh, detoxification of your liver, help detox your body, general detox, uh, lymphatic detox, digestive detox, heavy metal detox, and so on. So it's important that you take or eat these vegetables. So you must incorporate them in your diet. Every day you can change them, you can eat broccoli today or tomorrow you can eat cabbage, it doesn't matter. It's important that you eat these vegetables in a cooked form or also raw, you can eat raw cabbage, it's very good for you. Yes, and uh, this is the nutrition part. You need healthy program, it's not enough to eat vegetables, so uh, the rest of the foods to be uh, fast foods or sugary foods, sweets and so on. What you need is to eat more vegetables and when I say more, I mean a lot more, maybe 60% of your plate must be vegetables, 30% can be protein and 10% can be fats. It's important to, to keep in mind that every meal, let's say the main meals, uh, to be structured like this. Between meals, you can go for berries. Berries are one of the best fruits that you can eat. Berries and when I say berries, let's say blueberries, have a lot of resveratrol. This antioxidant helps also your body produce stem cells. Also in your food you can put uh, turmeric or you can drink uh, ginger tea. These two help your body produce stem cells. So we have fasting, we have nutrition, let's go for supplements. What supplements can you take to help your body to produce more stem cells? So when I'm thinking about a body, how can a body become younger? It's simple, we need minerals. Without minerals, you cannot function. 
the vitamins that you take or the vitamins that you eat cannot function without minerals. So we need the whole spectrum of minerals. It's not enough if you take only calcium, only zinc, only magnesium. You need all of them. And you need all of them in a matrix, the liquid form of the minerals. You can supplement with vitamin C, magnesium, you can take it separately. You can take um, curcumin, extract of the turmeric. You can take vitamin D and K2. Both of them have a lot of um, benefits if you take them uh, together. And don't forget about the rest of the vitamins, the rest of the omegas. You need um, essential fatty acids like omega-3, omega-6. The amino acids, you can take them from food, you can supplement them. Of course, when you fast, you can break your fast with aminos, with vitamins. Depends on you break it. If you break it in the night, aminos are good, omegas are good. Don't take vitamin D in the night because this will not let you sleep. If you take vitamin D, the melatonin production will stop. So that's why it's important to take only in the morning. So we have fasting, we have diet, we have supplements. You need to connect yourself, to reconnect because you are deconnected. You need to reconnect yourself with nature. If you are not connected with nature, if you don't exercise outside, because it's different, it is a big difference between exercising inside or exercising outside. So staying with your feet on the ground, like earthing 30 minutes a day it's wonderful it makes wonders for your health reduce inflammation upgrade your system and of course it's important that you train exercises are very very important for the production of stem cells you need to train on empty stomach you need to do it like short uh, term let's say uh, workout 20 minutes, 30 minutes, maximum 40 minutes of workout and you are done. It's important that you have, you have a high intensity workout. The intensity you give it by uh, tempo, of course, you can give it also by frequency, but also you can give the intensity inside the muscles. Yeah. So the more tension you have when you push, when you pull, when you jump, when you do anything of this uh, these kind of exercises this intensity it's important to have it in the muscle because you need your muscles to grow if you train it's important not to take vitamin c or other antioxidants after you finish the training because if you take your muscles won't grow the same so it's important to let the free radicals to make their job and to let your muscles to grow because they will produce inflammation but inflammation inflammation is good sometimes so it's important to know also this thing. Start with fasting, nutrition, and between them, let's go for supplements, let's go for mindset. Let's start to see the beauty in this world because in every situation, in everything we look, there is good and bad. Try to see the goodness in everything because the goodness or and the, the good things that you can mirror will manifest in your life.